हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू एवरीथिंग मैटलर जी वेलकम टू डे फोर ऑफ हंड्रेड डेज हंड्रेड कॉन्सेप्ट्स एंड टुडे इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट वन ऑफ द इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक्स फ्रॉम थर्मोडायनेमिक्स व्हिच इज एडियाबैटिक फ्लेम टेम्परेचर सो फर्स्ट विल जस्ट ट्राई टू अंडरस्टैंड वॉट इज दिस एडियाबैटिक फ्लेम टेम्परेचर ओके बिफोर इवन गोइंग देयर लेट सी वॉट इज एडियाबैटिक सो यूजली वी नो दैट एडियाबैटिक सिस्टम्स मीन्स ए सिस्टम ए थर्मोडायनेमिक सिस्टम सिस्टम इज वॉट our portion which we are considering for our study okay that's what a system is so adiabatic systems means usually that means there is no heat entering or no heat leaving the system that means the total heat which is associated with my system will be zero or otherwise i can write like this okay dq because the change in the heat is zero because whatever is generated it is not going out and any external heat is also not going in that is what an adiabatic system means now what is this concept of adiabatic flame temperature so basically uh, let me take an example okay so let me take some you know element a and i have oxygen okay which is reacting with my element a this is my system so what will it happen so let's say this is half oxygen and it will be forming this okay let's assume that this particular thing is in a isolated or to be more clear adiabatic system okay so let's consider this particular reaction is taking place in my adiabatic system that means no heat is going out or coming in so what is this particular reaction basically any element which is reacting with oxygen in atmospheric pressure of course will try to burn itself that we usually call it as combustion so this is my combustion reaction okay so i am burning i am combusting my a right now and what is the type of reaction this is so usually this is a combustion reaction so in combustion reaction is it exothermic or endothermic of course it is exothermic reaction again what is exothermic reaction reactions in which heat is liberated out that means heat is released out yes so on combustion of a along with formation of my product ao there is formation of some heat but again what is the system that we are dealing with this is an adiabatic system so where will that heat go it cannot go out so this heat that is released from my combustion is utilized to increase the temperature of my product okay and my highest temperature or the final temperature that is attained okay final temperature that is attained by my product here in this case ao is called my adiabatic flame temperature okay that means the maximum temperature of my system okay now so best example let's take wood okay okay keep it in a closed container that means you know you are using some isolations also okay so that means no heat is coming out and no heat is going in okay and we are burning it right we we ignited it so that it is burning what will be my product ash okay so if it is an isolated system let's say this is my room temperature 298 kelvin okay i'm doing this particular experiment at room temperature and atmospheric pressure at 298 kelvin so what happens definitely there will be some heat released because wood means nothing but carbon there will be formation of some gases which are again resulting in heat liberation okay again exothermic reactions so this particular heat is helping to raise the temperature of my ash that's what a simple adiabatic system does okay and the final temperature of my ash is called what my adiabatic flame temperature okay so how to calculate this sir so that's pretty much simple 
so what is happening what is the heat that is liberated out this is nothing but my delta h of my reaction correct whatever reaction we dealt with only the heat is coming from that particular exothermic reaction right so this particular heat is utilized to raise the temperature of my product so you all must know that according to kirchhoff's law if my system is going from a temperature t1 to t2 then the total heat or the you know enthalpy change will be given by integration of t1 to t2 cp dt what is this cp cp is my specific heat at constant pressure of course we are dealing at constant pressure only so we can bring in that particular concept and use my kirchhoff's law to calculate adiabatic flame temperature so in my case what is the initial temperature i considered it is at room temperature my products are sorry my reaction is going at room temperature only what is the final temperature the final temperature of the product which we said it to be adiabatic flame temperature let's name it ta okay let's name it ta okay fine the limits of integrals are known now what we are raising the temperature so we are raising the temperature from 298 to this particular adiabatic temperature but this is not happening in the whole system okay so by the time the reaction is completed we are only left with my product so always remember we are only increasing the temperature of the product okay so this particular delta hr is coming from my reactants okay that means is coming from my reaction that is going in okay now let's assume the reaction is over there are no reactants now but what is left there is this particular heat left so that heat is utilized to raise the temperature of my system but what is left in my system only product so i think you are understanding what i am telling so here you have to take cp of my products only dot dt okay so this will be the formula okay so what we did we just assumed okay different conditions okay i am doing an adiabatic system at room temperature and at uh, atmospheric pressure so what i considered is because of this particular reaction there is some heat that is getting evolved and after the reaction is getting you know finished so what what is left with me i have my product with me and also i have this particular heat with me so what happens this heat will try to raise my temperature of the product that is generated okay of course there are multi if there are multiple products then what do you will get you get summation of all the specific heats of my products okay that's it so this is a simple concept of adiabatic flame temperature so thanks for the incredible support to this series of 100 days 100 concepts so i think if you like this video please hit the like button and also share with all the metallurgy gate aspirants and i know this particular series is going to help you a lot 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 to gate okay so, and also if you want to join us for the whole video course you can also check out at our website everythingmetallurgy.in okay and of course we have complete test series where we are providing a complete package of about 60 tests okay which include topic wise tests as well as full tests okay also including the previous year tests and our own grand full tests okay so yeah once again thank you for watching we'll meet you with a new video tomorrow thank you guys